What's going guys, Philip here, and today I'm going to show you how to get your net type open on Modern Warfare 3, and I believe this also may work on GTA 4. I've had some people confirm that it actually does, so it might work for you as well. And uh, yeah, I've had a previous video on how to do this, but that video is kind of old, it's not outdated, but it uh, just lacks some important uh, information that I will share with you right now. So. There are two things that you'll need to do in order to get your NetType open. And the first thing you'll want to do is to s enable UPnP or turning it on. And the second thing you'll want to do is to put forward a specific port. And I'll show you how to do both. It's pretty simple. The first thing we're gon going to do is to enable UPnP. And in, in order to do that, you'll have to go to your router's address or whatever. And in order to find that address, you can click Start, type in Network, find your router over here, right-click, Properties, go to this tab called Network Unit, I think it's called. And if you can't find this tab, Restarting your router several times until it appears has worked for me. It might work for you as well. If that doesn't work, I'm not really sure on how to find it, uh, unfortunately. And if you can't find your router under network infrastructure, I think it may, might be called in English. I have some videos on how to find them, and uh, I'll link them in the description. If those videos don't help, I'm not really sure on how to help you any further, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah. Once you're here, you can find your website for your unit, just press this. And now that when you're here, you'll have to log in. And the default login is usually admin admin or username password. But specific routers uh, or brands or models have specific default logins. So in order to find your specific ones, if this doesn't work, is simply to Google, I don't know, Netgear and default login and you might find yours or just ask me in the comments and I might find it for you. So yeah, login. Then go to advanced, advanced setup and UPnP or their respective order whatever place that you have on your router and turn UPnP on and if you don't get uh, open net type in the end of this video you might have to try and turn the UPnP off and on or if you already had it on, you might have to turn it off and try. So yeah, but keep it on. And now that you've done that, we're gonna port forward a specific port by pressing port forwarding. And port forwarding, you don't need a specific, s you don't need a software for port forwarding, so you don't have to buy anything to do that. And uh, when you're here, just press add custom service. Let's call this MW3. It's right there. Select service type, TCP slash UDP. If you can only choose one of these, select UDP. But I'm gonna select both of them. And then the port you want to use is 3074. 3074. And then the internal IP address you can find by pressing start. Type in CMD, press OK or enter. Type in IP config. Scroll up to find your IPv4 address right here and just type it in. And there we go, and the external IP address, I keep it on any, but you can select a single one if you want to. Then just press apply. And we're done here. So, the first time I did this, uh, a couple of years, years ago, port forwarding on this address didn't work for me, uh, so it might not work for you as well. Or, your net type might be open just now. So this guide could be over for you right now, but if the it doesn't work opening it over here, we can just go to start network. Find the router again. Properties. Go to the general tab, select settings. Then press add. Let's call this MW3 as well. Then type in the IPv4 address, select the th port as 3074, 3074, select UDP, press OK, and then press OK again, and OK. And now your net type should be open. If not, you can try and add these two ports down here, 
just like you added a 307 port I'll keep it in the description so you can find them and copy them and with this specific IP 127.0.0.1 and I got these automatically when I started MW3 for the first time I think and I think that for some reason not everyone gets them or whatever they help s some people they don't help everyone but it, they may help you if you can't seem to get your NetType open and the two things that I forgot to mention when adding the port is that if when trying to add the port you get a little message saying that the the port is already in use. Just find the post in here that's already using that port and delete it. It might be called demonware port mapping or something, or I, I don't know. It can be whatever. And if you get a message when you have added this port and pressing OK that you can't add it for some reason, something with the standard gateway blah 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 error message, usually that's because either you're using some weird symbols or the information isn't correct, maybe you entered the wrong IP or an IP address that doesn't work or it may be because you don't have the proper rights to use it so maybe you're using like a mobile router or whatever it's called in English and I don't think that all the users with those get the proper admin rights or whatever to add ports so that might be it so if you get that message make sure that all of your information is 100% correct that you're not using any weird symbols and if it still doesn't work you might have to contact your internet provider or something and see if they can help you um, give you your proper rights and um, yeah if you have any further questions just leave me a comment and um, I'll try and help you the best I can I hope this video helped you out it has helped a lot of people so far and hopefully can help you too I want to th thank you guys for watching. Get us whatever. I wish you finest demo dudes. And until next time, hasta luego.